Our spaceship with our space cadets is coming into the solar system. They are approaching the sun and the inner planets. Okay. So the sun is about eight inches in this model. So the, dis the distance from the sun to Mercury, our first planet, is 10 paces. In this model, Mercury is about the size of a pinhead. And so you can barely see it at the very top of the tape right there. It is the size of a pinhead and it is 10 paces from the sun. Venus, the next planet, is about nine paces away. So we'll go up to Venus. And Venus is about the size of a peppercorn. It's that little purple speck right there on the end of the stick. And we are coming into our planet, Earth, which is seven paces away from Venus. Earth is also about the size of a peppercorn, and you can see it right there. Okay, our spaceship just landed on Mars, which is about half the size of the Earth, the little red speck right there. And Mars is 14 paces from Earth. So if we look back at the sun now, you can see that little yellow speck right there. That is the sun, our eight inch ball. Now we've finished with the inner planets. It's quite a ride out to Jupiter, the largest planet of our solar system and the first of the outer planets. We have to go 95 paces out to Jupiter. So we will meet you the there. Jupiter is the first of the outer planets. It's the size of a pecan. So that's Jupiter, about the size of a pecan or a walnut. And it's also the largest planet in our solar system, right? Right. And if we look back at the sun... It's just a yellowish, orange, and reddish orb. orb. Yep. You can barely see it. Saturn is about 112 paces from Jupiter, so we will meet them there. Saturn is this, about the size of an acorn. Um, it's the second largest planet in the solar system. And our model of Saturn is, is missing its distinctive roots. And here we have our model of Saturn, which is about the size of an acorn. So now we're going to go 249 paces to Uranus. As you can see, Uranus is pretty far away from Saturn because our spaceship is all the way down there at Uranus and I'm at Saturn and you can barely see them. And if we look back at the sun, it is really not visible anymore. Uranus is blue because of the methane. And it's a very, it's a very gaseous planet. And in our model, it looks like it's the size of a coffee bean. So that is Uranus. We will go on to Neptune, which is about 281 paces away. The spaceship just landed at Neptune, and you can see it about there. So let's go join them. It's blue because of the methane. And 
It's a very gaseous pen, and, and, and our model, it's a, the size of a coffee bean. Oh. So that's Neptune. Okay, so we went 281 paces from Uranus to Neptune, and we're gonna go 242 paces on to Pluto. When was Pluto discovered? In 1930. And it was considered a planet until? 2006. And in 2006, it became? A dwarf planet. Head on to Pluto. <laughs> Pluto is the only a planet that hasn't been visited by any spacecraft. And in our model, it's the size of a pinhead. We used the pinhead to make Pluto. And you see Pluto's like a tiny speck. You can barely, barely see it. Our journey through space is about over and our cadets are heading back from Pluto and are gonna head back towards the sun, passing all of the planets that we saw. They're gonna stop at the sun so you can see just how far away from the sun the outer planets truly are because as you can see, you can barely see them now and they are just about to Saturn. And they're still going. They've reached the inner planets And they have gotten to the sun.